You know, before I get started, I want to let my uh, detractors know that um, the reason why I keep making videos about dirt, because I've had people say, man, why are you talking about it? Because this is what people want to hear about. You know, yeah, I get it. We have more uh, serious things going on. You know, we got a couple of wars going on overseas that may potentially affect us. But because people don't care about stuff like that, you know, we only care about what's going on with uh, certain bloggers like Shay Room and all that. I got to talk about it. I'm sorry. So nonetheless, little dirt got jammed up by a guy named allegedly otf jam who also came out and put out a statement and um people are saying that uh, it's over for dirk dirk allegedly tried to flee the country book three different flights try to get on the pj and the feds took him down he's currently locked up with no bond facing extradition for um deletion for hire and uh it was supposed to be for quando rondo allegedly per the feds but uh ended up getting hit uh, his friend ended up getting hit. This was supposed to be in retaliation to King Von's deletion back in 2020. Now, let me let, let me say this. Let me say this before I, I, I start going in. Y'all probably want to know why why do I why is there military people on the on the right hand side? And I'm gonna get to that. But all of this really started over nothing. Um, uh, FBG Duck, who's not in the thumbnail, but um, his crew and several other crews beefing with. Lil Durk knew him since they was kids and Chief Keef and it's just so many lives affected, right? And uh, it's just sad because King Von's in the ground. You know, the the last photo of him was his autopsy floating around. And also, Lil Durk is probably gone, which means all of them, the Grammy he won and um, I believe he won a Grammy. All being on top of the world, it's not going to matter if he's he going to spend the next 70 years of his life and it's sharing a cell with somebody, you know, having a, to be uh, degraded by other men, meaning, you know, you don't know, imprison them when they check you for drugs. So it's just, you know, and it's freedom being gone. And he's going to be in federal jail, too, which is ran by the government. And and I, I go all that to say the Negro community, our community, we've we've really moving backwards, honestly, because these two people, these two brothers on the left were very talented. Vaughn was more than likely going to be bigger than Dirk, but. At some point, he was going to get jammed up, too, because the Chicago Police Department already said they had evidence of him um, deleting several people, right? And then, like I said, Lil Durk, who fell off. Y'all remember Lil Durk came out, what, years ago? Then he, he was with Def Jam. Then he ended up going independent. He got hot again, and then he just never dropped the baton for the most part, you know? And just, it's so many, so many uh, brothers, Negro brothers have just lost their lives. You know what I mean? Like, so many people over nothing. And the reason why I got the, the soldiers on the, the left hand, the right hand side was because this is from the 92nd uh, Infantry in uh, Italy, 1945. Now, historically, a lot of your grandfathers, or even great grandfathers, or even some of your fathers fought over there during World War II. And the difference between the brothers, the soldiers on the right hand side, and the brothers on the left hand side was unity. You know, we have been moving backwards since then. When these people wouldn't fought over there, it was segregation. You couldn't, you couldn't uh, be, be in the same companies. Like they, like they had their own separate military because they wasn't allowed to integrate. Integration didn't start in the military until I believe 1948. 48, 49, Harry S. Truman did it. So, but during that time, with nobody um, smoking on ops, dishing each other's graves, um, harassing mamas. Actually, if you go back in time, history, even if you just talk to your elders, they say everybody looked out for each other. And you can say, well, we didn't have no money. Okay, well, well, we still had each other. We had love. People wasn't going out hungry. We made our own clothes. We had our own banks. We had our own newspapers. And what you're seeing on the right hand, on the left hand side with King Von and Lil Dirk is destruction in real time. When, 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 when rap music first came out, it was conscious music. It was fun music. When you turned it on, you didn't think about going to go smoke on some ops. You was thinking about revolution. You was thinking about education. You was thinking about sticking together because those are uh, um, the original founders parent came from segregation. You know what I mean? And um, the reason why another reason I got the, the, the black soldiers in the thumbnails because we need to get the draft back, honestly. And y'all probably wondering why. Well, y'all want to walk around with. Uh, automatic rifles and um, explosive devices and all this other type of stuff and and uh, have it to where your 80 year old great grandmothers can't walk outside or leave leave their door open. You you know back in the day we didn't even have locks on our doors. That's how much love and trust we have for each other. Okay, well y'all need to go to the military 
and I want to be in military, but you need to be in infantry because if you want to, if you want to um, shoot at people at a playground, fine. Okay, well they got jobs in the military for that. You know, you you talking about ops and all of that. Okay, well go be in the uh, special forces. They got the Navy SEALs. Um, you need a ranger. It, it's, it's so many army rangers. So many different things that you could be. Uh, Marine recon. Like we need to we. We need to start having some more structure. We need to start having some more discipline. Y'all can't tell me because I've had people tell me, bro, uh, well, Lucas, I mean, uh, I'm tripping. And, oh, how? How do you not see? Drive down your communities. Any com you, can, you can take me to any community, black community, Negro community in this country and go in the corner stores and look who, and look who owns them. Go to the gas stations and look who owns them. Let's, we can, I, I guarantee you that nine times out of 10, we can go to a hair store, and when we walk in there, who do you think the owner's gonna look like? I guarantee they're not gonna look like us. We are moving backwards, man. That what happened in 1964 might, might have been the final blow to us. And okay, well, well, fine, right? Let's just say segregation to the end. Okay, well, look at how worse our communities are. Just look at the music. What's the number one music out there played? It was drill music, you know. And we know it's gotten worse because when we were growing up in the night, when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, a lot of y'all was too. And even the two, even the early 2000s, let's just say if I had issues with somebody and they had me with my kids, they would give me a pass or vice versa. The people not even doing that no more. Why? Because these young brothers have been influenced by this music, which is utter destruction to our communities. Now you got 12 or 13 year olds walking around with rifles, fi opening fire, no regards of life. What happened? To, I mean, back in the day, it was it was so different. If you was uh, a square and you was chilling, they left you alone. They protected you. Um, according to Stephen A. Smith, the, the, the dope dealers let him shoot ball late at night because they thought he was going to be, uh, they knew he was going to be something. What happened? To, all of that is gone now. It's literally everyone for themselves. You know, we don't even, we don't even say Mr. and Mrs. to our elders no more. Or yes, ma'am, yes, sir. You say, so what's what you talking about? Who do you think you is? Rolling, people rolling their eyes. You got grown men out here rolling their eyes. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> so we can learn a lot from little dirk and uh king vine the streets they never been real they're never that nobody's ever won all these people that y'all that y'all like and, and admire they got jammed up and majority of them have told on people it's all y'all keep y'all y'all square up and down that y'all had that me and snitches me most it's so many people walking around in everybody neighborhood that didn't told on people i know them y'all know them and nothing's happened to them so it ain't worth it because people are going to tell when the fans get in there and we start talking about okay well you want to keep it real well, we're gonna give you eight years man it was him man it was him and the dude allegedly wore a wire on dirk it ain't even that's why none of this stuff is worth it man and like i said man this should be a perfect example of how to of, of, again yet again how it ain't worth being in the streets man just be a square go to school get your education because at the end of the day that's what's going to achieve in the long run i guarantee you if they throw the book at dirk dirk get, give it 10 20 years dirk will probably be like man i should have just i should have left music alone man you know what i'm saying it, it wasn't even worth it or if he did allegedly pay to go have some stuff done i know he don't look back like that's stupid man this is this is 2024 they got cameras everywhere they can track everything and people people will tell on their mama for a bucket of chicken and a and a ebt card but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.